Two teams, thousands of pixels, and over £50,000 to be won. This is five gold rings. to Five Gold Rings, the show where all the answers are hidden somewhere on this amazing floor. All you have to do is to find them with your five gold rings. You can play along by putting sticky fingerprints all over your telly. You can download the app for free now on iOS and Android devices. So good luck if you are playing and let's find out who's playing here. Let's meet the teams. <laughs> Next up, we've got Louisa and April from Walton on Thames, a uh, married couple. How long have you been married? Uh, just over two years. And where did you meet? Uh, you we, can tell the story. Uh, I was moving out of a flat I was living in, and April was the person that came to move in, <gasps> and that was how we met. It's perfect. Yeah, yeah, meant to be. Right, the very best of luck this evening. Brought your five friends with you. Um, Who have we got? So, first we've got April's parents, then we've got my parents, and then our good friend Darren. Lovely. All feeling confident? Yep. Yes. Great. Excellent. <laughs> we'll be hearing more from them a little bit later on, so uh, best of luck to you. Let's meet their opponents. We've got Dave and Aileen from Aberdeen. Welcome. Hello. What's your relationship? Uh, so, Dave is my boss. What? Uh, yes. <laughs> this is risky for you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I mean, is this just the world's biggest suck-up? <laughs> <laughs> If we win. <laughs> <laughs> Who have you brought with you? Um, so we have Dave's brother-in-law, uh, three of my friends and my husband. Nice to see you all. Welcome. You may come in very useful a little bit later on. <laughs> or at least we hope so. Earlier, we tossed a coin to decide which team plays first. And Dave and Aileen won, so they decided to play first. Each team will get one shot at a question. If they fail, then the other team have a chance to steal. Both teams have two lifelines, which they can activate by pressing their buzzer. Uh, they can choose to flip the floor to reveal a different question if they want to, or they can ask their team of five if they think they know where the answer is. One team could leave with tens of thousands of pounds. The other will leave with nothing. So if everyone is ready, let's play Five Gold Rings. <laughs> right then, Dave and Aileen, who's going to go first? I'm going to go first. Uh, the first ring is worth a thousand pounds. Please take your position, and I'll give you your thousand pound question. Hopefully, you'll breeze through this. Have a look at the floor. Hmm. So it's a flag, and it is in fact the flag of Sweden. However, its vertical yellow line has been removed. Can you find the area on the horizontal yellow line where the missing vertical line should cross it? Go. You're up. Over to the left, to the left. 30 seconds. Okay. Up, 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 up. A thousand Over. pounds. Yeah. yeah. Maybe slightly towards your right. I don't know my left or my right. right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there. You're Is probably right safe the there. Is it right I don't in the Hmm? Is it right in the middle? Well, I don't know. It's, I think it's maybe slightly offset. No, no, but come towards the middle, cos then you're, like... Five seconds. Make your mind yeah. up. Quickly, oh. quickly, make your mind up. And that is yeah, it. Time probably. is up. Maybe slightly. Time is oh. up. I suspect it wasn't great for him to hear you say, <laughs> I don't know my left from my right. He knows, I don't know. <laughs> How many employees do you have? <laughs> Six. Why didn't you bring one of the others? <laughs> <laughs> if you've got this right, we'll put £1,000 in the bank. If you've got this wrong, you get to steal this. Did you manage to find the vertical line? Let's have a look. Look at that! I knew it wasn't so let's show you the uh, the full flag, yeah. and there it is. 
You got 62% of that correct. Super. But you only need one pixel <laughs> in this game. That's all that matters. Absolutely brilliant start for you. We're going to put £1,000 in your bank to play with later on. Right, Louisa and April, your turn to play now with £1,000. Louisa, you're going to play first. Yes. Grab that £1,000 ring. And let's have a look at your question. This is what the floor's going to do. This is a map of the British Isles. Can you find the county that cheddar cheese originates from? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you can choose what you're going to do now. You've got uh, two options. You can either flip the floor, get another question, hopefully one that you'll be much happier with, or you can ask your team of five up there if you want them to help you. What do you want to do? Shall we flip? Yeah, flip it. Right, going to flip the floor? Yeah. yeah. Right, let's have a look at another question then. Let's see what's on the other side of it. And here is your alternative question. This is part of the 2018 calendar. It is incomplete. Can you find US Independence Day? That's your alternative question. You don't have to play this one. You can play the other one play if you the want other to. One. Go back to the cheddar. Yeah, go back to the cheddar. So we've got to have a look, we've got to resolve this. When is Independence Day? No idea. Any ideas out there? July 4th. Oh, oh my gosh, oh, yes. July. <laughs> July the 4th. Would have known that. Oh. Okay. So, all right then, so if you were playing this. Where would you put the ring? Then I'm going to be the ring for the audience. There. Over here? What do you think? You think here? You think there? Yeah. Right. This is where you're playing. Oh, look, you have! Spot on! That's really good! <laughs> Very good, impressed. Right, OK, so that's that one resolved, but you're not playing that. We're going to flip the floor back again and let's get your cheese question. Let's have a look. Can you find the county that cheddar cheese originates from? You've played your lifeline and you are on. You've got 30 seconds starting from now. No, I'm just going to go with Wales. No, it's not in Wales. I think it's Gloucester, is that? I don't know. I don't want to be stupid. Well, but... move it up then a little bit. I honestly don't know, but maybe move it up. I thought it was Wales. I haven't got a clue. Move it up a bit more. A bit more. You, you play it. It's up to you. I don't know. Um... If you get this wrong, you get to steal. Yeah, go for I that. I think it's more like mid quick. Oh, quick, 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 quick! quick. <laughs> All right, oh, Louisa. You've played that. You think that's where cheddar cheese is made. I just bought cows in Wales. I don't know, but sheep, isn't it? Uh, there are a lot of cows in Wales. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Is that right? We want to know the county where cheddar cheese is made. Have you got a £1,000 or do you steal? Oh. I've got no idea. No, that's not right. So you don't get the £1,000, but you get to steal. And you're on. And you have 15 seconds. Right, down, down. Down I actually, south. Yeah, south. It must... I think it's I don't like, know where it is either. Where is cheddar well, cheese made? So it won't be over there. Towards um, your right. Down a little bit. Down, because you're no point in covering. Yeah. Down That's up. it. Time's up. Yeah. That's where you think cheddar cheese is made. I have no so idea. I didn't get that <laughs> question. Oh, well, there's a few blank places. Let's find out whether or not you've managed to steal their thousand pounds. Have that. you got it right? You I haven't mean, stolen their thousand pounds. You are actually quite a few counties out, <laughs> if I'm honest. <laughs> when you were a kid, did you never Seven. never go to Cheddar Gorge? Mm. Did we? Oh, <laughs> sorry. So whose mum is that? No, I'm right. So you took took, her, took her there to Cheddar as a child. <laughs> Maybe two or three times. <laughs> <laughs> so were you looking at that, Mum, yeah. thinking, "Oh my goodness"? Oh, we're do, sorry. Do we you know where it is, Mum? Go on, then. Where do you want me? This way. Oh, Devon. Cool, cool. Devon. 
a little bit over to the, your right again. About yeah. there. About there. Oh. Yeah. Where is cheddar cheese made? Oh, cheddar oh. cheese is made in Somerset. Oh. Where is oh. Somerset? <laughs> there. There is Somerset. Right on, I've got one toe in. I've got a toe in, Mum. So that was the answer we were after. Nobody got the thousand pounds there. Somerset, the village of Cheddar, on the edge of Cheddar Gorge. Right, nobody wins the thousand pounds, and off it goes. Right, Aileen, it's your turn now with a two and a half thousand pound ring. Okay. Off you go. Two and a half thousand up for grabs here. All right, take a look at the floor. And here is your question. Here are pictures from the front covers of four books from the Mr. Men Classic Library. Something has been removed from one of them. Can you find where the missing item should be? Do you know what What is, are you going to do? Do you know it? No. Oh, you're going to... Pressing think... your lifeline? Yep. OK, well, you have got the choice to ask your team a five up there, or you can flip the floor for another question. Flip what do you want to do? Let's flip the floor, please. Look at something else. Right, let's see what's on the other side. What's your alternative question? Certainly one that you want to be pretty sure of, because it's <laughs> worth two and a half thousand pounds. Come. So here is a standard QWERTY keyboard. We've removed some of the letters. What we want you to do is this. Find the key that has the 11th letter of the alphabet on it. So, which one are you going to play? I think we should play the Mr. Men. Go. I think we'll play the Mr. Men. We're going back, are yes, we? Yes, please. OK, right, well, let's see. Where is the 11th letter of the alphabet on it? You work for an IT company, I know, you? this is really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Have you figured out where, what the 11th letter... I... Of the... K. K. So where's the K on a QWERTY keyboard for your IT I company? I think it's underneath the W and E. No, it's over to the right, I think, nearer the Y. I think it's near K and L. So it'd be over towards Aileen, probably about there. Right? This is where K is. Yeah. yeah. Oh! Are you kidding me? Oh. We should have played that question. <laughs> well, it's too late now. He's an idiot. He's sacked. He's your boss! <laughs> I'm sacking him. <laughs> have you just resigned? No, I'm sacking him. <laughs> Oh my god, right, get back to the Mr. Men. <laughs> Safer ground, safer ground. <laughs> so you've got to play this one now, and your question is it's from the front covers of the four books from the Mr. Men Classic Library. Something's been removed from one of them. Can you find what the missing item should be? You're in play. I think you're Mr. Strong's head. I'm pretty sure it's a hat. hat. That's what I thought. Yeah. Put it the well, we have a wide bit of the ring. Wide bit of the ring near by his head. Come towards me. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. He just needs to get edged. A little bit more. Yeah. Think about there. Is the hat not balanced on top of... Or does it come over his head? No, it's just on top of his head. So that's why you're not better No, no, because you want the wide bit of the ring. OK. There you go. Two, one. Time is up. Time is up. Very good strategy there because sometimes you do need to use the widest part of the ring. If you perched it where it is, then you've got a bigger chance if you've got the wider part of the ring. Will you add two and a half thousand pounds to the thousand that's already up there? Was it his hat? Yes. You are right! Ninety-three percent of Mr. Strong's oh hat is sake. within that <laughs> ring. Absolutely well played. You now have two and a half thousand pounds to add to your bank. <laughs> Three thousand five hundred pounds in there. So that means they've got three and a half thousand pounds to take towards the final. Will Louisa and April win their two and a half thousand, or will Dave and Aileen steal it for themselves? You'll find out after the break. Welcome back. Before the break, I think it's safe to say that Dave and Aileen unnecessarily played a lifeline. Yeah. And you managed to find the letter K on a, on a QWERTY keyboard. 
uh, in a question that you didn't end up playing. Uh, but nevertheless, it doesn't matter because they've got three and a half thousand pounds in their bank. Now it's time for Louisa and April to play with their next ring. It's worth two and a half thousand pounds. April, your turn to play. So if you grab that ring, stand by the floor, and here is your two and a half thousand pound question. Here is an image of the London Eye, which is partly obscured by clouds. Can you find the highest pod? Yeah. Yeah. On you go. Right, well, they're going literally around. just going to walk up the middle of it. Yeah. Um, and then up, because they're pods around the outside, aren't they? So maybe if you walked around in a circle. Yeah. Still got 17 <laughs> seconds. Quick, 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 quick. Just go a bit quicker. Round, 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 round. Yeah. Seven, six, five, You happy with that? Four, three, Move it across two, to the right a bit more. One. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Wow. You see, even when you've got two or three seconds left over, some people just can't help themselves. Yeah, I just wanted to push them. <laughs> they are absolutely confident, but they just have to have a last-minute fiddle with it. So... Have you managed to find the highest pod on the London Eye to take two and a half thousand pounds through to the final, or do you get to steal? Here we go. Let's find out whether you're right or wrong. Smidge forward, isn't it? Right, so Aileen, you're playing the steel. Okay. On you go. Go on, Aileen, come on. You have 15 seconds. Just in line with it again. Yeah. Just come down. Yeah. Up a bit, up a bit, just to make sure you're right. Well, up. yeah, but Seven, then I'm going to be in the six, other circle. Okay, five, as long as it's nine, four, eight. three, two. There's no point in being in the other circle. Is that in the right place? Have you just stolen their two and a half thousand pounds? Where are you right? Where's the highest pod? like a couple of magpies and nicked your money. <laughs> Two and a half thousand pounds has just been stolen. Over here, we'll put that in your bankable money. Look, you're up to six thousand pounds you could play with now. Do you think it was that last minute fiddle that did it? No, because it's really far down, isn't it? So I only I pushed it a smidge. Wouldn't have happened anyway. No, yeah, I think it's a yeah. bit lower than where we were going. Yeah, through, so. I thought it was obviously my. Maybe I got a bit. Wobbly. There you go. There's the picture. That's um, that's the full London Eye, and there is the uh, there's the top of it. You were just a little bit too high. Six K. What's that going to do? Don't tell me you haven't thought about the money. I'd get some Botox and <laughs> <laughs> heel really? extensions. So this a is holiday. all going into your yeah. personal yeah, why not? pampering. <laughs> what about you, Dave? Did you have any any work done? Yeah, I've been building. <laughs> uh, I've been building a house now for about seven or eight years. So that little bit of extra money would just do nicely to. So both up. of you having work done, but just very different. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Well, the very, very best of luck to both of you. If you are playing along on the app, the name of the highest scorer is coming up on screen now. And let's find out where they are. There you are. And that's who you are. It's an impressive score. If you want to see your name up there, it's not too late to get involved. Uh, so the very best of luck, just download the app. Right, it's Dave's turn to play now uh, with a £5,000 ring. Go and uh, grab that gold ring and stand by the floor. Here is your £5,000 question. The best of luck. Oh, look at that. It's a pond. You are about to see an otter swimming around it. Here it comes. Look, <laughs> there it is. There's the otter <laughs> swimming around the pond. <gasps> but it's, it's dived underwater. Each time it swims under the bridge, it travels in a straight line between the two same points. Can you find the point on the bridge that the otter swims under? 
and you're now playing. So you're, a, yeah. you're watching the and otter swimming up. around. Quick. It's diving underwater to swim under yeah, the bridge. Yeah, I think about there. Each time it swims under the bridge, it travels in a straight line Watch between what he does the two here. same points. Yeah. And then where do you pop out there? You're looking for the point on the bridge the otter swims yeah. under. Watch him. Maybe go over slightly. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. You happy with that? Quick. Three, two, one. Right, the time is up. Did you manage to find the place on the bridge that the otter swims under? <laughs> <laughs> There's a last... Because this is... I tell you what, this is about 30 foot deep. <laughs> so, you know, the last thing you want to do is to fall in. Right or wrong, is this where the otter swam under the bridge? On. So, right, let's watch this otter. We'll find his path. There you go. There's the path that the otter took. Here he comes. Here he comes and under the bridge. Spot on. You have just added £5,000 to your bankable amount. £11,000 now in the bank. Well done. Right, it's Louisa and April's turn now to play with their next ring. It's £5,000 for you as well. Uh, Louisa, it's your question, so grab your £5,000. Or at least your potential £5,000. Here is your £5,000 question. It is the Five Gold Rings lyric book. Here are the lyrics to the ABBA song, Dancing Queen. Some of the words are missing. If the font size and the letter spacing of the lyrics remains the same, where should the word jive be on this page? On you go, 30 seconds. Where's I think jive? It's you can jive. Yeah. Uh, walk along from you and do your spaces. So Got loads you of time. No and rush. Can. Jive, I'd bring it back to you a little bit to the left. Try, go, right, go back again to you. Right. You. you little space. space. Eight, and seven, six. Space. You're looking jive. for jive. Move it a little bit to you. Stop. Stop. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Did you panic then? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> you panicked. Yeah. You can jive. Yeah, I still think it should be this way a little bit more. Only has to be an inch, one yeah. pixel. Yeah, true. Just one pixel in there. It's worth £5,000. If you haven't got this, you've got the chance to steal. That would really have a massive impact on your banking amount over here. So have you managed to find the word jive? Jive. You can dance, you can jive. Oh, no. You can dance, you, you can, can jive. You can have jive. Oh. Yeah. No, no, further along, further, further, further. Three, you can dance. Two, you, no, further. One. No, no, no. Further, no, further, further. Only needs to touch it. So mouth. that is yeah. where you had it. You had it there and you pulled it back. Have you managed to find the word jive? How big an ABBA fan are you? Huge. Are you? <laughs> Massive ABBA fan. You've got a look of Benny. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think the lyrics are? You can, can dance, dance, you can, can jive. Yeah. <laughs> so we had the lyrics wrong anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you, you had actually missed out cat, yes. Yeah, you can again. Can dance, you missed out. Well, let's see. They might, they might be wrong, but they may very well have stolen the money here. Let's have a look. Mm. Have you managed to find the word jive? Sucked. <laughs> 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 
This could be the first time ever we've seen an employee sack their boss on television. <laughs> wow. So where the hell is the word must jive? Be a bit more that way. Over. Should I move it? Yeah. Do we win the money if you move it? <laughs> <laughs> so if it, you can't have the money. <laughs> you cannot have the money, but you can tell me where you think it is. Yeah. So like another. So you can dance. You can jive. Yeah, over a bit, because you're over the circle, which we already know as well. <laughs> there. Thanks. Is that what you wanted? Yeah. Right, let's see whether or not you would have been right if you'd been standing on the floor. Oh, oh. you got it. <laughs> I want a £5,000 pay rise to me. <laughs> <laughs> Here are the full lyrics. There you go. Oh, Never mind. Listen. Never mind. <laughs> this is the worst bit. There's your five thousand pounds. That's what you nearly had. <gasps> oh, and it's gone. Just four rings left to go. They are worth a total of thirty-five thousand pounds. There's still a chance for you to steal this back. Who will claim the money? Find out after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to Five Gold Rings. We've got Aileen and Dave with £11,000. We've got Louisa and April on zero. But it doesn't matter. You can still steal enough money to beat them. So don't worry about that. Two rings left to each. Aileen, you're on. This is £7,500. And there's your £7,500 ring. As the money goes up, the rings get smaller. It gets much more difficult to find what you're looking for. Here we go. And there it is. It's a number circle. Running from the year 1901 up to 2000. You need to find the year Prince Harry was born. You still have a lifeline. Okay. You're on. 30 seconds. He was 1984 because he's the same year as me, so this would be 18. 1950. So up, up the top. And then this would be 75. Yeah. So it would be kind of here. Keep going, keep going. So that would be 80. 84. 84. 15 <laughs> seconds. Oh, yeah, eight, that would be 82 and a half. That's it, yeah. Yeah. Are you sure you want to listen to him? <laughs> well, really, though? Know? Really? Know. <laughs> <laughs> what year did you say you were looking for? In 84. He was born in the same year. You reckon it's 1984? Oh, That's what you're looking for. Have you managed to find it? Seven and a half thousand pounds added to your bank if you are right. If not, you've got the chance to steal, which is exactly what I was telling you about. Did you find it? Oh, no. Right, you're on for the steal. Right, you need to push it up. Right. You need to find the year Prince Harry was born. 15 Move seconds. It slightly round to the right a bit. Move this it. way, towards, yeah, yeah. towards you, towards you. So out of their circle, up a bit more. No, here. no, no, leave it. 10 no. seconds. Nine. Here? Eight. No, to, back to, away from you ever so slightly. Yeah, here? that's it, that's it, leave it this there. This is for here? seven and a half thousand. Yeah. Have you managed to steal their seven and a half thousand pounds? Let's have a look, because this would really help your bank. Yes. I need to put it down a little bit. No! Oh, no! You're oh. kidding me! Uh. It's oh. before. It's oh, no. the other side of what we did it. And I've got to say, that's what you were shouting. <laughs> Where is the correct date? You just didn't. Oh, oh way before. Miles yeah. Miles yeah. before. So it's 1984 is what you were looking for, and there is 1984. Unfortunately, that money is gone. Seven and a half thousand pounds. April, you're on for seven and a half thousand pounds. Grab that seven and a half thousand pound ring. You still have a lifeline. And 
Here's your question. This will put you properly back in the game. There you go. It's part of a life-size snooker table. 11 feet, 8.5 inches long from the inside of the top cushion to the inside of the bottom cushion. We've marked in white where the bottom left pocket is. Where should the top left pocket be? You still have a lifeline and you're playing. That's okay, it, you're walk, on. Walk straight up there. Um... 11 feet, 8.5 inches. There, there, there. 19 seconds left. No, 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 no. That's, like, in the middle of the table, isn't it? Isn't that, the, like, the I don't. I wouldn't go by that. I don't know. Um, forward this way a bit. To me. Where's the uh, top left pocket? Five, four, three. Yeah, for 7,500, are you sure? Yeah. That's it. You're done. Don't do those pushes again. <laughs> <laughs> Have you managed to find the top left pocket for seven and a half thousand pounds? Mm. Here we go. Oh, oh no, you haven't. Oh. Right, you're on for the seven and a half thousand pound steal. On you go. Where should the top left pocket be? Way down. Quickly, quickly. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> keep, keep going, keep going. A bit more, a bit more. Whoa, there. And this way a bit. That's it. Okay. There? Yeah. Spot on. Seven and a half thousand pounds, four seconds. She's leaving the floor, so she must be happy. Good job. Is that right? Have you managed to find it? Did you steal their seven and a half thousand? Here you go. <laughs> inside yeah. that ring. Absolutely spot on. Let's have a look at the table. There it is. Right, this is going to look lovely. Here's seven and a half thousand pounds. We're about to put it into the amount of money you could win at the end of this show. There it goes. Eighteen and a half thousand pounds. You might be feeling a little bit despondent here. You still have your £10,000 ring to play, and you could still steal their 10000 There's still 20000 to play for, yeah. OK? Yeah. But you now have to be pretty much on your game. Yeah. <laughs> We're on it. Dave, you are on £10,000 now to add to that pot, 28500 Right, grab the ring. It's the smallest one. As the money goes up, the rings get smaller. And this is for control of the final. You still have your lifeline. Ah, it is a shark. A great white shark. We've removed its left eye from the image. Can you find where the left eye should be? And you've pressed your lifeline. Very sensible. It's the last question. Um, they all want to be on telly, so you may as well include them. <laughs> right, there's your team of five. So you've all got tablets, and each one of those tablets has its own gold ring, which will show up on this floor. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where the shark's eye is? Where is it? Let's see how accurate they can be. That's it. Right, they've played. And we'll see where they have put their shark's eye. There oh. they are. There they've placed them. There are the five. They are spaced out. That's the worst possible scenario for you. <laughs> you have 30 seconds now to decide where the most important know. gold ring is played, because that's the one worth £10,000, and that's the one you're holding in your hand. Time starts now. Did I think it is? Yeah, I think so as well. Out there? Like, almost bang on. Whoever put the first ring I don't ring think it's down. quite that far from No. Much. Yeah, you're, I'm, I'm happy with that positioning. Sure? I think it's about there. This is the first one you've actually agreed on. <laughs> 10,000 pounds. It looks like. Or Louisa and April have yeah. a chance to steal. I think, yeah. It's the best and he's room. cleared the floor with about four seconds to go, so. 
there you are. The time is up. Let's find out whether or not you are going to put £10,000 in your bank account. Let's lose the rings. There they go. That's the most important one. That's the one that could net you £10,000. Are you right? Have you found it? You are on for the £10,000 steal. Do you know where the shark's eye is? Louisa, you could go from zero to I mean, 10k. Over to the left a little bit. Yeah, but it's in the same line as theirs. Push it up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Eight, no, the, push seven, it a little bit towards six, the right. A little bit because the ring is the, in the middle. Two, right, stop, stop, stop. One. That's it. It all rides on this. Have you managed to steal their £10,000? Have you found the shark's eye to take you from zero to 10K? It only has to be one pixel in. Have you found the shark's eye? We'll find out after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. Before the break, Dave and Aileen failed to find a shark's eye. And then we've got Louisa and April who could steal their £10,000 if only they could find it. You've spent all of this game sitting on zero. Are you about to put £10,000 in your bank to play with for the end of the game? Have you managed to find the shark's eye and nick their money? Let's find out. <laughs> what did I tell you? I told you, you can haul this back uh, no oh, right now, at the no. last second. <laughs> so that Oof. is where the shark's eye is. You were 71% correct. There is the shark's eye. And that has just bagged you £10,000 to play for at the end. Awesome. Now you feel better. Yeah. yeah. You've just been robbed of £10,000. <laughs> close. Incredible. <laughs> but right. you have your £10,000 ring to play. Here is your £10,000 question. Have a look at the floor. It's a speedometer on a car. The red point on the needle is about to show you some speeds. The first speed is 106 miles an hour. The second speed is 40 miles an hour. Can you find where the red point will be at 70 miles an hour? There you go. Right, Lifeline Pressed, you are relying now on your team of five to get you your £10,000. Can you find where the red point will be at 70 miles an hour? The first speed is 106. The second is 40 miles an hour. That's it. You're locked in. Right, let's see what they have suggested. Where is 70 miles an hour? Oh. Right then, let's see whether or not that is any help to you. Are we going? You have 30 seconds. Go for it. I honestly have forgotten the number, 30 so I would go with our to team. Find no, that's maybe... 70 miles an hour. Oh, I don't know. It's completely up to you, so I could go with the family or just move it a little bit. Well, work. that's the most central point where they all overlap. So it's 106, and I've forgotten the first one. Uh, 40. We showed you 106, and we showed you 40. It's not going to help. Six. <laughs> Eight. Uh, seven. I think six, we should just five, maybe nudge it a little. No, all up to you, Lou. Nudge it a little bit to the one. Right. Stop. 
There we are. Well, I hope you have managed to find 70 miles an hour. Are they right or do they get their £10,000 for control of the final? right to go with them. Let's find out where it is. <laughs> Here is 70. There it is. Yeah, where oh, you, where you asked me to Look at that. It. <laughs> just in that corner oh, of the ring. Oh, that was close. But it doesn't matter. It's one pixel is good enough. Right then, let's have a look at this. £10,000 goes from there to there. Which means that you have control of the final. <laughs> You have taken control of the final. So let's talk about this money now, because this has suddenly got very, very big. £20,000. Have you thought about how you would spend it? We, uh, yeah. We <laughs> want to buy a house, because we're hoping to start a family. So, right. um, yeah. deposit. So that would really help. Really, would really help, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, well, the very best of luck to both of you. Uh, if you are playing along on the app, let's find out who our highest scoring player is. And we've had some big high scores tonight. There you go. That's where they live. That's who they are. Truly impressive score. Well done. So, Louisa and April have £20,000. Dave and Aileen have £18,500. As Louisa and April are playing for the most money, they can attempt the final question with a bigger ring. You can decide to play it if you want to with that bigger ring. You have a bigger advantage. Yeah. Or they've got a smaller ring. You can make them play. Play and get it right, you'll take home that money. If you get it wrong, you win 18,500. Somebody wins the money, somebody goes home with nothing. So who will be taking home their money tonight? It's time to play the final. <laughs> Pay very close attention. This is a memory game. Have a look at the floor. You are about to see seven different coloured basketballs. They're going to drop onto the court. You need to remember where the balls end up. Take a good look at where they all are. Because in just a few seconds, they're all going to disappear. They've gone. So what we want to know... Where did the brown ball end up? Oh, no. Playing? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going to that gold ring. Play as fast as you can before you forget. Go for it. Go, go, go. Um, no, left, 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 left. I don't know if it was down. I thought it was the other side of the line, the brown. 20 seconds. Take your time. Take it's your a big, time. It's a big no ring, panic, so no we panic. Can... Put it half and half over the line. Yeah, Only like that. And towards you a bit more. No, I, I literally, I think the brown was here. I might be completely wrong. I can I? The brown, I thought the brown was this side of the line. Move Two one, oh. quickly. That's it. Okay. So if they've got this wrong, you leave with eighteen thousand five hundred pounds. Went too quick. Let's find out whether. You get 20,000 or nothing. You get 18,500 or nothing. Let's watch it from the beginning. Oh, shit, I think it is right. No, I don't think it is right. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my Oh, oh, my goodness. 
Goodness me! You have twenty thousand pounds! Oh my God! It's incredible. For most of the game, you had nothing. No, no, I had nothing. I said I wouldn't cry. Let me tell you. Let me tell you how much of that brown ball oh my God, is like inside that ring. A smidge. I told you it's all down to a pixel. It's oh. naught point three percent. Oh my God! And over here, I'm so sorry, guys. They did so, so well. sorry. You they were, did well. They did do well. And and no Botox. <laughs> no. no, I can't believe it. You saving don't my, need it. You saving don't myself. Need it. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for playing. It's been absolutely brilliant. We've loved thank having you. you here. And you uh, and you so nearly had that money. So nearly, but thank you. Thank you. For you two, mm. enjoy putting the deposit down on that house. Yes, thank you. we will. Very, very much. Thank you. Very much. Lovely. That's it. Tonight's winners have £20,000. Well done to them. We'll see you next time on Five Gold Rings.